Hey guys, Knoopsy here, and after using Apple Music for a whole day, I can finally give you my first impressions on Apple's new streaming service, all of its new features, and Apple's online radio station, Beats One. So these are my thoughts on Apple Music 24 hours later. To further display my thoughts on Apple Music, I'll be breaking this video up into both positives and negatives. For positives, firstly there is a massive selection of music and pretty much anything that you can find in iTunes and other streaming services, you can find here, as well as some exclusives. For example, Taylor Swift's 1989 and Dr. Dre's The Chronic both are available for streaming and Pharrell Williams' Freedom actually premiered on the service. If you're having trouble finding exactly what you want to listen to, you can use the Awesome For You tab which gives you great recommendations and A-list playlists. Second, Apple Music has a great looking interface that places the artist's albums and artwork first. And with long descriptions and spot on recommendations, it makes it very easy to find your music as well as enjoy your favorite tunes with even more information. Third, Siri is directly integrated with Apple Music, so for example, if you want to ask Siri to play a song that you don't have in your library, Siri will actually play it from Apple Music, no problem. Fourth, you can download songs to your device for offline playback and add them to existing playlists. From here, you can even transfer these songs directly to your Apple Watch and you can play them out of range of your iPhone as long as you have a pair of Bluetooth headphones. Fifth, you're able to connect more with your favorite musicians with the appropriately named tab called Connect. From this tab, you can comment, like, and share various posts and be the first to see what musicians are up to. Think of it as Apple's old music social service called Ping mixed with social networks of today. Now so far, there hasn't been too many posts from artists on Connect, but I expect more in the future. Also, with Apple's latest GarageBand update, you can upload your own songs to Connect. Lastly, Beats One. Beats One is very interesting as it's a live 24-7 radio station with real DJs and programs. Throughout the time I've listened to it, there's been request shows, mixtape shows, and interviews. It's been super unique to have all of this on your computer, tablet, or phone. The music played is usually pretty good too, and there's a wide range of music from electronic to rap and everything in between. Zane Lowe called the genre of Beats One great, and I can mostly agree. Now the negatives I've experienced so far are few, but there are some. Firstly, playing songs can sometimes take a while, and the interface can be occasionally sluggish and slow. Second, despite the layout being beautiful, it can be occasionally hard to find things, and the interface isn't very intuitive, as lots of features are hidden. The last issue I've had so far is that Beats 1 will occasionally repeat and replay a few seconds behind. While this isn't a big deal, it can be a bit annoying, and does happen frequently for both me and some other people as well. Hopefully Apple can fix this in the future. In conclusion, this has been my 24 hours with Apple Music, and so far I've really enjoyed the experience. Is it revolutionary? No. Is it a really well done and well polished streaming service with some pretty cool tricks? Yes, 100%. The most interesting and new part here is definitely Beats 1, but I'm sure with time more cool features will become present. I may make an update video after the 3 month trial is over with my thoughts on the service and if it's worth paying for, so stay tuned for that. And if you enjoyed this video be sure to leave a like down below, comment your thoughts on Apple Music, and subscribe if you haven't already. Thank you for watching.